Hey guys, Tech Dimension with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your Apple map not working correctly or you can't get the location, can't get direction, the GPS is off or simply doesn't work for you. There's a couple things you can do to resolve those issues and fix it. So let's dive right into it. So if you're having issues with Apple Maps here, there could be a couple reasons happening with it. And the very first thing you want to do is a simple quick fix is slide up the Maps app and try to close it and reopen it. I know it sounds really simple, but sometimes it's simple as just reopening the map by closing it out by sliding your finger up and then closing out the app. The next thing you want to verify is your internet connection. So Maps require that you have internet connection for the GPS to work correctly. So how can you check that? Well, first thing you can check is if you're on Wi-Fi, make sure your Wi-Fi is on. But if you're outside, most likely you want to make sure that your carrier has service. You want to make sure that you are getting bars and your carrier shows up. If it doesn't show up, that means the region or the area that you are might not have coverage. Try a different location if you can. Move a little bit further down, up and down, wherever you are, and see if you get some sort of cellular connection so that map can work again. Now the other thing you can do to try to reset the network or give it a refresh is pulling down the control menu just like this and then turning on airplane mode briefly and then turning it back off. And what that does as you saw here with the Wi-Fi and the cellular connection, it does a quick refresh so that if there's a connectivity issue it kind of tries to reconnect you again and hopefully you have internet and maps is working for you. Now if it's still not working and you're having an issue, the next thing you want to check out in your settings here is your actual location services. So map relies on your location services being turned on. So you want to check in your settings, go to privacy and security here under look and then location services you want to ensure that is turned on like that quickly turn it off for a moment just like that and then turn it back on and that kind of helps if there was an issue with the gps of your phone kind of to help recalibrate and the other thing you want to kind of verify under the services here for maps here you want to ensure that the option either while using the app or while using the app or widget, these two are turned, um, either one is selected. I recommend using the la very last one to get the best result. And along with that, you also want to select this pre precise location. So precise location to ensure that you're getting the right location from your GPS. And it's important because the Maps app, so you want to make sure the location is correct here. So that's going to be something you want to verify that it's selected either uh, while using the app or while using the app or the widgets and precise location is turned on. Now after you have checked that, the next thing we want to check in our settings here, going back to the main settings here, we want to ensure under general, under general date and time, you want to check that the date and time is correct. And how can you check that? You want to verify that time that you see is the same time that you're in in that time zone. Sometimes when you're traveling, especially using the map, you might be moving through different time zone. And if the time zone is off, services like Google Maps, which goes to Apple server, or can't get those data because there's a discrepancy between the time that it's looking. So, so you want to ensure that time is correct. Let's say if it's not correct, you can turn this off where it says automatic set automatically you want to adjust it manually in the time zone itself and then turn it back on but the important thing is that time is correct either manually or automatically automatically is usually preferred now the next thing you want to do if you're still having the issue on your phone is doing a force restart of your iPhone in order to do a force restart it's really simple you're going to do click volume up and then volume down one after another you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold this big side button on your right hand side till the screen turns completely black and the apple logo reappears so to show that in real time volume up volume down and then i hold that side button just like that i'm not going to slide to power off i'm just going to keep on holding that power button or the side button till the screen goes black and it shuts the phone down completely and then you'll see the Apple logo reappear and then you'll let go of that button. And you might be wondering what this is doing. This is shutting down the phone completely and then reloading the code so if there was any minor software issue impacting your phone's GPS or 
maps not working correctly, it will resolve those issues. Now, this method that we did for Shreestart will not delete any of your personal data. So you don't have to worry about photos, videos, or apps being deleted. Everything will still be there. It's just reloading the code of the phone. Now, after you have done that, and let's say it's still not working, Maps is still giving you trouble, the next thing you can do is simply delete the app and reinstall it. So Map is a default app, but you can also delete it and reinstall it. So in order to do that, you're going to press and hold, and then you will see the option to remove app. So click on remove app. We're going to delete the app, and then it'll say, are you sure you want to delete? So we're just going to delete it like that. And then all we'll do is go to App Store again, and in the App Store, we're going to go to search here and ensure that you're signed into your Apple account here. And then we're going to search up Maps here. And the very first one you should see here, Apple Maps, is the one we're interested in. Ensure that this is exactly the icon where it's from Apple. We're going to click on that cloud with the arrow pointing downwards. It's going to install it for us. Make sure you're connected to, again, cellular data or your Internet when you're doing this a reinstallation of your map because it will need internet connectivity. As you can see here, it's starting to download here. So wait till it downloads. And once it downloads, hopefully if there was a, any issue with the app, maybe it wasn't updated or there's a new version out, it will be fixed. So as you can see here, we're going to try to look for the app here. Usually the app installs sometimes the app library all the way at the very last page. We're going to press and hold and then we're going to add it to the home screen here. So it's right here in the home screen. And then you can press and hold and move it around to wherever you need to. But now, hopefully, Maps is working for you. Now, let's say it's still not working. The next thing we can do in our settings here, going back to the settings here, we're going to go to General and then go all the way down where it says Transfer or Reset iPhone. We're going to click on that. And once we click on that, we're going to do a reset here, the very first option. And the reset that we want to do is this reset location and privacy one so it will reset any settings around your location and privacy that you set up you'll probably need to enter your passcode or face id and then it will say that this will be the settings will be reset to your factory default which is fine we can do that again this method will not delete any of your personal or information like photos videos apps thing like that it's just the settings themselves if you're having issues with it and hopefully now if you try maps it's working for you Lastly, if it's not working, the best thing you can do when it comes to iPhone is ensuring that your iPhone software is up to date. So if a previous update is causing the issue with Maps not working, it should resolve this issue. In order to update um, your phone software, you simply go into Settings, General, and the Software Update, and it should look for update. If there is an update out, it will show up like this where it says Download Install. You'll click on Download Install. Before you do that, make sure that you're connected to a good Wi-Fi or cellular connection. Your phone is at least 50% or more. If not, plug it into a charger. And you want to give it about, sometimes you want to give some like half an hour to 45 minutes because sometimes those software updates do take a little bit of time, so keep that in mind. And hopefully after you do that, your Google Maps is working for you and there's no more issue. Sorry, I meant Apple Maps is working for you. If not, of course, you can use Google Maps as the other alternative option. But if it is working for you, that's great. And hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.